Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our stack series and this video we are going to learn about a very tricky problem called stock span problem. Okay. So the stock span problem is a financial problem where we have series of end daily price quotes for a stock and we need to calculate the span of stock price for all end days. Okay. We span SI of the stock price on a given day I is defined as the maximum number of consecutive days just before the given day for which the price of the stock on the current day is less than or equal to its price on the given day. Okay, so I have a custom example for you. We can understand it better. So initially we don't have anything here. So what would be the span here one? Okay. Now span basically is that suppose, okay, suppose we come around this number 40. Now I have to, you know, calculate the number of days from starting index to the end index, which would be like smaller than 40 consecutive days. So this would be smaller, this would be smaller, but this is not. So what would, what would be the span here? It would be current day 1 plus 2 plus 3. Okay. So that's uh, how we have to do it. Okay. So I just told you it would be 3. Here it would be what? 1 only because no smaller element here. What about this? This element itself and this element 2. What about 35? 1 only. What about 30? 30 is also going to be uh, 1 only. Yeah, right. What about 50? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So for uh, it, it is going to be 6, right, cool. Now uh, can you like think there's a like a trick which we are using is that span is basically index of current element minus index of uh, closest greater element on left side okay just remember this thing suppose here it is going to index is 0 index is 1 index is 2 index is 3 index is 4 index is 5 and index here is 6 All right so suppose for here what is the closest greater element 60 so put this formula 1 minus 0, 1. And here also put the formula 2 minus 0, 2. Here also put the formula 3 minus 0, 3. Now for 30, which would be the closest greater element on the left? That would be 40. So 4 minus 3, 1. What about here? Closest greater element is 35. So 5 minus 4, 1. What about here? Closest greater element of 50 is 60. So it is 6 minus 0, 6. Okay. So this is what uh, we have to find, you know, the closest uh, greater element of the left. Okay. Now another observation which I want you guys to see here is, suppose I have like found the span till like x0 till xi I have found it. Okay. Now I have to find about xi plus 1. What would be the span of it? All right. Suppose um, till uh, 35, you have done. You have like found the span of every element. Now I have to find the span of 30. Suppose it was not 30. It was some random number. Suppose for now, let's say it x. So what would be the, you know, basically span of x. Suppose if x was smaller than 35, suppose 30 as it was given. So its span is going to be 1. Suppose it is greater than 35, but smaller than 40. So its span is going to be what? 2, All right? And what if it is greater than 40, but less than 60? So its span is going to be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay and one more thing suppose if 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 
this span um, in any uh, x is greater than 60 then obviously uh, we will get a whole things as span right so can you observe one thing that suppose if we are at xi the only values which we need to find the span of xi plus 1 is xi itself its pre uh, previous greater element which is 40 its previous greater element which is 60 and nothing in between okay and we don't need anything in between so suppose i have made a stack okay here value is what 35 40 and 60 and we have their indexes 35 index is 0 1 2 3 4 its index is 0 1 2 3 and its index is 0 now we are at index 5 right now i'll check if the top element is uh, greater than 35 if it is then what we will simply remove this element right now we'll come here if it is you know smaller than 40 then what we have we are going to have span as 5 minus 3 2 but if it is greater than 40 then what we are going to remove this we are going to remove the thing yes now if the element is smaller than 60 then 5 minus 0 that is 5 and if it is also greater than 60 then we can have span as i plus 1 that is 6 okay so this is how where stack comes in play okay now we have talked about how the stack would come in play and what are the values needed to be put in stack and it's time to code this thing you may like pause the video try it on your own otherwise you can just uh, see the code okay Hmm. So first and first we need a stack. So let's make our stack. Then we need a vector int answer which will store the all the spans which we have to initially return. See vector int. Okay. So initially you can just simply push back for the first element which is it is always going to be one and in this stack we are going to insert uh, indexes so first index is going to be 0 now we will run loop from i is equal to 1 till i less than n and i plus plus okay i am saying while s dot empty is equal is equal to false which is meaning it is not false and and price of my current index is you know greater than or equal to price of s dot top okay i am going to do what i am going to simply pop the elements and in the temp variable i am going to store if suppose s is empty uh, then what I am going to print simply i plus 1 otherwise I am going to print i minus s dot top that is what I performed in front of you right and you may put the index of the current element and simply push back temp right and in the end simply return answer let's compile and run hope this thing works okay okay um, my bad this would be s dot push obviously okay Our output and expected output are same. Let's try and sum this thing. And submit it. Okay. 
So I hope you understood what we did here. See, you cannot obviously tell whether this question was of stack or not, right? But by mere observation, we just uh, figured out that this problem is of stack. So the more problems you do, the more you will understand like what data structure would be used at a specific question. So I guess that was it for this video and thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, please comment it, comment it in the comment section and stay tuned for the next videos.